Hey Shibi Doodlers, how are you doing? How would you like to have a sneak little peek inside my sketchbooks? And this is my November 2019 sketchbook, um, which I started going on a cruise to Norway. It was Mrs. Rayner and I, it's our 30th wedding anniversary this year, and we treated ourselves to a cruise to see the Northern Lights. And did we see the Northern Lights? We did, and it was absolutely amazing. All that Northern Light photography is far too complicated, so uh, these were taken by the wonderful people who took us out for the night uh, searching for the Northern Lights, and they found them for us. And so this is a little sketch of the Aurora. Uh, I don't know why I wrote fancy curly cute lettering there. I was just drawing people on the boat, really. Mrs. Rayner doing her knitting. She says it looks nothing like her. It doesn't really, uh, but anyone I showed it to instantly knows who it is. <laughs> now, this was interesting. Um, they were doing watercolour um, lessons on board, so I thought I would go on. Uh, water, wet on wet watercolour lessons, Aurora in the middle of the North Sea. And I realised just how inappropriate this paper is for watercolour. It's just kind of, this is a great journal. I love this book, but I realised that the paper is not that brilliant for watercolouring. So I met the wonderful Caroline James, um, who is who was the watercolour teacher. She comes from Bath in here in Britain. I learned lots of new things from her. It was really interesting. I, I haven't really ever been to a watercolour lesson before. And these are different versions of things that I tried. Uh, so this was, so these were from photographs as well, which I'm not really used to working from. That was the photograph. Um, and then we had, that was, yeah, that was the picture for this one. Mm, the, um, <laughs> the paper just doesn't quite do it. But it was really interesting um, to watch classic watercolor painter at work and that's another variation um, and then we were trying to do the uh, northern lights the aurora so <laughs> i was having trouble with this paper it's kind of oversized and it didn't want to just take accept the paper for some reason so that was fun we crossed the arctic circle so i've got a certificate <laughs> and it was cold so there's a lot of entertainment goes on on the cruise ships we're having a drink um watching a band i think i took this along and then drew this from that i think i can't remember i was drawing somebody i got an email while i was away sort of about doing um some illustration work for a children's book and i think these might have come from that there was a fabulous band uh, entertaining us in the evenings who did old rock and roll stuff and a bit of comedy and a bit of stuff and they were just entertaining is what they were um and uh, they managed to get this kind of <laughs> older couple dancing, one of these things. So from this sketch, I kind of did a more sort of considered sketch. Um, while we were in Aldersness, um, which is a little port, um, which is where we first went into, the quayside was just full of these sea urchins in the water. So I just started finding sea urchins. And these are other kind of people around on the boat. And here's that singer again. Um, and this um, a Cuban comedy magician <laughs> who was very funny. These are all things I would never really no normally go to. It's an interesting thing about going on a cruise is you go do things you wouldn't normally do because they're just there. It's like a whole little world. Uh, and these are all people in the audience. It's quite difficult drawing this because it's very dark. And again, while w waiting for uh, shows to start, this is kind of drawing people who are sitting there waiting in, in rows in front of you. And here again as well, these are other people waiting. And this little bunny rabbit keeps popping up. Um, we went to um, a place called Polaria, which is kind of northern polar um, aquarium kind of thing. And I just kind of did this doodle because uh, they had seals and they had <laughs> lots of lovely anemones. Anemones they are, aren't they? Who needs fronds when you have anemones? Um, and there's that bunny again. Uh, funny bunny, I don't know. Um, other kind of ideas I was having. <laughs> um, we had this lady, Andrea Amat, came and performed on her flute. It's kind of quite a sort of interesting. She has sort of playing against herself with a screen in the background and video playing against herself on video and things like that. So this is actually drawing while I'm there in the dark 
Um, it's quite difficult doing that. <laughs> uh, this is thinking about, I might do this as a how to draw uh, video near Christmas. And I started thinking about drawing kawaii stuff real easy. I really like kawaii and that kind of stuff. But now YouTube has really upset everything. But when I came home to find all these new copper laws and kid-friendly content set of regulations and things suddenly appeared. So it's, it's completely changed the whole way I'm going to be doing things on YouTube. Um, it's just doodling, I, I seem to remember. So this was, it, 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 these flowers were everywhere uh, and these little vases, so I went and drew them as well. Uh, they were on our tables when we were eating and they were in our room as well. Um, so I did sort of more sort of formally portraits of uh, Andre Amet from, from the sketches that I did previously. Here we have more of these kind of things because I was having to start to think about work while I was away on holiday. This is the lovely Teresa Stavnam who uh, would tell us all about Norway. And she dressed up. This isn't her full fest um, dress up. It's kind of a day wear, I suppose. Um, and she was telling us all about Norway. And I started drawing crows. They're beautiful hooded crows in Norway. The Polaria building where they had the seals and everything was really interesting, kind of based on ice flows when the wind is blowing and the ice, sea ice, of course the, the, the water is moving up and down so it breaks into blocks and the wind then blows one on top of another and uh, <laughs> you get the ice stacking up like that. Uh, this is a Sea White of Brighton sketchbook and they have sent me their new um, 140 by 140. Uh, now this is a watercolour sketchbook and I just I just don't know how to start something like this so I'm, I'm actually kind of reviewing this. Uh, and they sent me a couple of new pens. So these are grey pens. Um, but the, uh, I'm kind of not quite sure the way the watercolour is working on, over so much ink. The trouble with drawing uh, stuff off the TV is you only <laughs> get about three seconds to get an impression of what is going on. And uh, so at the moment I'm going to be starting to kind of leaves and stuff. I was watching the news and again, I think I got about 10 seconds. I can't remember his name. Uh, and here again, he was a news reporter. And by the time I decided to draw him, I thought, I really like, it was these lines here that I really like. And by the time I'd started to draw, it'd gone. So most <laughs> of it is from memory. Uh, that takes me up to date. Um, hey, don't you like that they got my name on the front? That's so cool. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching and make sure that you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more sketchbook stuff and general stuff about uh, drawing in general. In fact, if there's something you'd like me to show you and tell you about drawing, uh, let me know in the comments box below. But in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.